see a little bit about everyday services, uh, sometimes things that you don't think about or you don't consider uh, when you start planning your life uh, abroad. There is no healthcare in the Dominican Republic. There's public health care which you probably don't want to, to use, and there's private health care which is very, very affordable. I'll even stretch that further and say that the Dominican Republic has been increasing lately in medical tourism because people are actually coming here to get medical procedures done, dental work done, uh, plastic because surgery. plastic surgery, because it is very, very, very affordable. There are insurance companies that will provide healthcare, superior healthcare, for example. I'm in my 60s and we pay $147 a month for premium healthcare. That includes um, prescription, private room, and I recently discovered that my premium status also allows me to use the VIP lounge at the airport. Oh, yeah. well done. Yeah, nice right. uh, nice right. benefit. Castle Linda is, is strategically located about five minutes drive from the closest healthcare facility, which is the CMC. CMC yeah. If we need more serious medical attention, we're about a half hour drive from Bunigal Clinic in Puerto Plata and Homs in Santiago, which is what? Just less than an hour and a half drive. Contrary to what's going on in the US and, and Canada and other countries, um, healthcare is readily available, it is affordable. And doctors yep. uh, as well that you'll find will actually study abroad as well. That's right. So Most serious incidences, uh, you know, depending on what level of healthcare you have, you can get air ambulance. And something right. else uh, uh, which is happening in the last few years is also emergency service. Many years we did not have 911 right. here. And that is a public service which actually works uh, wonderful. wonderful. There is water and electricity shortage. While that is uh, totally correct when we talk about the Dominican Republic because uh, the um, electric lines uh, still have uh, some faults so with uh, no announcement that the power can go. The uh, water pipes, uh, you know, they're not so great, so they will not reach every place or every house in the Dominican Republic. But that said... So that said, in Casa Linda, it is totally different. So we want to offer you all the services and comfort of, that you're used to. Casa Linda has a generator, so that means that whenever the public uh, electricity goes out of service uh, within, you counted it, 10 six, seconds? Six seconds. Six seconds, so the power uh, uh, goes, uh, comes back in. And uh, we also have uh, uh, wells digged uh, in the ground. Systems. And uh, each uh, villa or each block of apartments uh, have a cistern mm -hmm. built in the ground uh, and you have a pump uh, that pumps the water uh, through your property and uh, keep the pressure off. So these are two things that you don't have to worry about when you live within uh, Casa Linda communities. Many people, uh, when they ask about the water, they also ask if they can drink the tap water. This is not really something that we recommend because the water here can be really hard. Uh, however, mm, many owners choose to install a filtration system yep. uh, and drinking water, uh, it is uh, very inexpensive here. Yep. You can buy for uh, uh, just over a dollar uh, a big uh, five gallon container of uh, uh, drinkable water. Uh, just pay a little bit more a tip and you get it delivered right to your home. As a matter of fact, as a convenience that's available right here in Casa Linda, there is a van loaded with bottled water that drives through the community so whenever you're out of water, you put the water on your front step, put the money under it, and he would come, put your full bottle of water, take the money, and you're gone. Something that recently uh, became available as well in Casalinda is the use of uh, solar panels. So I know worldwide, everybody's trying to go greener uh, and of course more affordable. So if you want to install solar panel on your villa, you are allowed to do so. Yeah. Only beach and sun. What do you do, Arnim, on your daily on basis? Daily basis. Uh, work. You know, yeah, you know, <laughs> you're right, work. That's a huge misconception again. We're more than just beach and sun. You could actually have a life here. Uh, apart from some of the other things that we talked about earlier on, um, going to the mountains, taking hiking trails, the coffee runs, like the, the, to the, the coffee plantations. There's golf, of course, can't forget that. There's a golf course, uh, Playa Dorada, that's less than a half an hour drive from here. Also, as a castle in the owner, you, you're entitled to a special uh, membership rate of $500 a year. There are volunteer things you can do. There are several members of the community that get involved in volunteer uh, organizations, some of the schools, the orphanages. Make sure you click on our buyer's guide for more information. 
it's funny how this happens because it's almost every country has its own restaurant and bar that's usually patronized by its own. You've got the Jolly Roger, you've got, you know, it's really, really wild. But but it's more than just sun and beach. And you can you can get as busy as you want to get or not. Sitting out by the pool and sipping on a, you mentioned a mojito earlier on. I'm good with that. Um, and just doing nothing is also good, especially if you're retired and you just want to just put all of that busy stuff behind you. And within Casa Linda, we also like to keep our owners uh, busy. Yes. So there are uh, events and activities that we organize as well, specifically for uh, uh, our owners. Uh, like we have uh, live music uh, yes. at our castaways uh, every Zumba. week. Uh, we have uh, sports activities. Uh, we have courts, staycation, uh, yep. so you can. There are a lot of things uh, that things you can do within the community okay. and uh, with uh, socializing with the other owners. Yeah. Images speak a thousand words. So if you have not watched yet our videos on the beaches of the North Coast, uh, click here to take a look at it. It's not a place for families. Many people that decide to relocate to the DR decide to do it when they are uh, close to retirement or when they are retired. I've actually made the decision of moving here when I was just in my 20s, so I can probably give uh, a totally different perspective uh, as well. And uh, I have uh, raised uh, my kids here. My kids were actually born in the Dominican Republic uh, and uh, lived here. And I think they've had so far such a wonderful life. And um, life here is very sociable, uh, it's very outdoor, so they get to interact with so many other kids uh, from uh, different nationality as well mm -hmm. and i was a little bit worried at first uh, in terms of uh, services uh, and uh, them growing up uh, with uh, you know with the education they deserved uh, and i have to say that so far i don't have any regrets there are uh, so many schools that you can choose from. Uh, uh, just within a few minutes drive from Casa Linda, there are several international schools. So, uh, for example, if your kids uh, don't speak Spanish and uh, they're maybe like older age, uh, they can study in English. I think you're going to end up having uh, a bilingual kids. So you're going to be, you know, Plus. with no effort. Plus. It is going to be English, uh, Spanish or any other language uh, that they speak. And um, there's so many outdoors uh, activity uh, you can do. Uh, we have a soccer field, uh, they play baseball here, they play basketball, uh, martial art, a uh, lot of different water sports. Uh, so there are plenty, plenty of things uh, uh, to keep them busy. And of course the weather helps as well because there are a lot of uh, uh, outdoor, outdoor activities. Yeah. And I find, I don't know if it's my impression, but kids here, uh, they grew up a lot more outgoing. Mm -hmm. Um, mainly, as I say, because the weather help is outdoors, so they get in contact with so many other people, uh, and uh, so they're not just uh, in the house playing their, uh, you know, video games all day, and uh, so they really get to uh, socialize and uh, interact with uh, with other kids. And as I mentioned earlier uh, in one of our earlier videos about uh, the new workplace created after the pandemic, um, we've seen a lot more families with kids, young kids, uh, teenage kids, preteen kids uh, within Casa Linda. I think that's a huge, huge misconception. There's so much here for, for people of all ages to get involved in. A lot of the schools are actually recognized by yep. the North America. Yeah. So if they decide then, uh, you know, you want to go and do your university study in, uh, in the States yeah. or then it's a uh, it's Possible. all uh, legal, you yeah. don't have to do any, any yeah. exam. It's been an overall pleasant experience. There are nuances, there are things that, that, that still, you know, bother the crap out of me, if I can say that. Um, you know, I, I always advise that when you're, when you're planning this move, understand one thing that I understood, that I learned 19 years ago, the true meaning of manana. <laughs> manana doesn't necessarily mean tomorrow, it means not today. So if you're okay with that, and you're, you're okay with adjusting your expectations and understanding the life here, giving the respect where it's due, so you can get that respect back, I think you'll be absolutely perfect. And there are a lot of people here who have, who have been living here for years, came here with that understanding and are having a very healthy and happy life. Yes, and it is very important to come with an open mind because uh, you know not everything is going to be as you expect or right. as you are used to. So Absolutely. it's also 
uh, important to understand, as you're saying, the culture yep. of the other people, yep. embrace it. Exactly. Uh, exactly. And if I have to weigh the positive, the negatives, uh, my balance goes way up yep. with the positive or living yeah. in the Dominican Republic. Absolutely. We hope that this series uh, has helped uh, making your mind up as well about mm -hmm. taking the plunge yeah, the and plunge. Uh, making your dream come true. And of course, uh, living any the best life. living the best life, yeah, of course. Right. Uh, and any question uh, that you have, uh, you know, pop us a message, uh, pop us a phone call, uh, email us, let us know. We are at your service uh, to make sure that you feel comfortable with your decision of uh, moving and uh, investing in the Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm.